Okay, we have an interesting integral here today from the Scranton integration B 2015, problem 14. We have the integral from zero to two of x minus two to the 14th over x plus two to the 16th dx. Okay, now this was pretty good because we have pretty large exponents here on both the numerator and denominator, so we can't really just multiply it out. I mean, we could, but it would take forever. It would be pretty tedious. We don't want to do that. And also we've got a different base here, so we can't really divide these into each other. But what I can do on this section, let's just do a u substitution and simplify the denominator and then hopefully we can divide it into the numerator. So for my u, we'll just say u equals x plus two. And then of course, du is just gonna be dx, so that's nice. I also can rearrange this to solve for x, so we have x equals u minus two. And then actually what I really want is I want this x minus two value, so let's just find that. So we'll have x minus two subtracting two on both sides. This is gonna become u minus four over here. And then we'll just go ahead with this, take our upper bound two, plug it in here. This bound becomes four. Plugging the zero in here, the lower bound becomes two. Then our x minus two value, that's gonna become this u minus four. So we're gonna have u minus four to the 14th. This is just u, so we're gonna have u to the 16th. And then our dx is just du. Now from here, what I'd like to do is actually just divide this right into the numerator. The problem is we've got different, we have different exponents here. Well, what I can do to fix that, let's just break that up. So for u to the 16th here, I'm gonna rewrite that as u to the 14th times u squared. So now I can divide that into here. So let's just rewrite this again. We've got our same bounds. When I divide this in, everything's now under the 14th power. So I can rewrite this. u divided into u is just one minus four over u, and all this is to the 14th power. And then we're still gonna have this one over u squared du over here. But then at this point, let's just do another substitution because if I substitute here, we say we do a t substitution here, then at that point, we're just gonna have t to the 14th where we can use power rules. So let's see how this substitution is gonna work. We'll say t equals one minus four over u. Then we'll take a derivative. So for dt, derivative of one zero, derivative here is gonna actually be four over u squared du. Well, we have the u squared and the du over here. I can just create this four to make this work. What I'll do is I'll multiply by four, so I'll just kind of turn that into a four, and then I'll multiply by a one-fourth out front, so I'm not changing it. So now I'll just go ahead with the substitution. We'll have this one-fourth here. Now updating the bounds, plugging four in here, this is gonna become one minus four, or four, one minus one. This is just zero. Then plugging the two in here, we have one minus four over two. One minus two gives me minus one. Then this here is gonna become just t to the 14th, and all this here is just gonna be dt. So then this here is just power rule, so we can just go ahead and integrate this thing. So we'll have one fourth in front, this is gonna become t to the 15th all over 15, and we're just evaluating this from minus one to zero. Well, evaluating at zero, that's just gonna give me a zero, so we'll have that there. Then we're gonna have minus, putting minus one in to the 15th, that's just gonna be a minus one over 15, but minus times minus is plus here, so we just need to distribute in one fourth, and for my final solution to this, we just get one over 60. Okay, there you have it. Good one from Scranton 2015. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.